All righty. So we should have more people coming on. Um, so first of all, everybody doing okay? Oh yeah, to the best of my ability. <laughs> yeah, that's what we can do. <laughs> Linda, how you doing? I don't think Link is there. Darvell, are you doing okay? Man, Darvell looks like he's getting ready to go to sleep. <laughs> 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 yeah, he is comfortable, his, his, man. <laughs> yeah, his, his, his comfortable mode, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, Lanai. So, um, so is everybody doing their business online? Cheryl, you're in real estate. How is it going? I just had to cancel two deals. Because everybody's backing out, so I don't know. It's getting rough. <laughs> oh, ugly. Crystal, do yeah. you do you, do you have any? Really. Crystal, do you have any information on those uh, um, cable utility companies like uh, Charter, uh, Spectrum? You know how how we handle those people because they keep calling and harassing people, telling them, "Hey, you need to pay." And if people are not generating well, uh, revenues, you know, how do they pay? Well, actually, I heard today, um, I have a friend that's in HR. Uh, and so she, and then she went to go pay, uh, 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 thank you. She went to pay her AT&T Direct, her, her, telev her cable and her internet, and she got a <laughs> notification back that said uh, that uh, they weren't accepting payments for two months. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, so I would advise everybody to call your own, get your, get it firsthand, go call your own utility companies and let them know, because they, they know what the deal is. And from what I heard from her, uh, that um, everyone, uh, that the big companies, the big boys with the deep pockets, they're not yeah. paying rent. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, and I know I think I think Spectrum hasn't gotten that memo yet, so you know they keep harassing some people. So we want to figure out how to get the message out to them too. So if you if you have any four one one on that, so all right, well we'll we'll keep we'll we'll keep that in mind. We probably this is probably an ongoing process because I think every single day, uh, I think every single day is a, some new information. So yeah. we just have to go with that. For those of you that are on Facebook Live, uh, there, if you go to Facebook, there is a um, there is a flyer there with the information because you're not going to be able to see the actual information that I have in the PowerPoint. So if you're interested in doing this, thank you, Linda. Uh, if you're interested in finding out more information, and there will be a recording of it, uh, but I would suggest you if you. I've uh, gotten a flyer from me. I've sent it out in Facebook. I sent it out as an event so you can go on to the event and sign up there so that you can tap in and see the whole, all the information. All righty. Hey, Cheyenne. Um, so welcome, everybody. Glad you guys could come over. I, what I wanted to do, I'm Crystal Mitchell. And for most of you that are on this call, you know who I am. If not, um, I am a business coach. I am the co-director Yes, I am on Zoom, Linda. So if you go to uh, uh, my Facebook page, any of them, the Business Zone, Christo, you will see an event, uh, Recycling Black Dollars, you will see an event, and the link is right there for you to tap into on Zoom. Um, I am the co-director of Recycling Black Dollars, as well as a business coach. And uh, one of the things that, that I have experience with or had experience with uh, and, and Gilbert, my co-host on the Business Zone, you guys all know him. He's on the he's on the call as well. Um, during the Crenshaw corridor, when they were doing the excavation or they were starting to dig up for the Metro train, and Willa knows this as well, um, there were a lot of our businesses that were affected by this. And one of the things that became really obvious that when they implemented the business interruption fund, we as people did not have the information and the documents that was needed in order to apply for any of the uh, interruption monies that was there. And you could have received up to $10,000 if you had a business on Crenshaw. But because they didn't have 
all the information and then have all the, 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 the documents that they needed to prove this, then they lost out. So we don't want that to happen here. If, the, if you are eligible for whatever is out there, we want to make sure that you have everything that you need in order to make it happen. Are we all in agreement with that? We, because yeah. here's the thing, when um, other communities get a call, we already got pneumonia. <laughs> so I love that. <laughs> so right now we have we don't have the corona. We got pneumonia, cancer, and all that kind of stuff. We gonna have all of them rolled into us. So we want to make sure that on this one that we are prepared to the best of our abilities. Okay, so. Thank you, Linda. So what we're going to do is I'm going to switch over to a PowerPoint that I have um, and I'm going to minimize. If you have any questions at the end of this, we're going to have some Q&A. And, um, and, and, and if you have any questions about anything else, I did a lot of research last night. But of course, things are constantly changing. And I have friends that uh, that are in HR. They are sending me webinars that they're attending. I'm going to start attending some of them myself because, again, this information changes on a regular. It's like uh, it, it could be here and then it could not be here. Okay, so we're going to minimize this part. We'll close this chat room. All righty. So um, you're still there, right? Wait, did I lose you? Wait, wait, wait. There we go. All right, let me just minimize, stick you over here in the corner, guys. And let's go back over here. Can everyone see my screen? Not yet. No. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, okay. It takes a Not few yet. Months. Okay. So let's, okay, let me see. Let me, um, let me stop the share and let's see if we can make sure that you do see it. <laughs> Crystal, can you hear me? I can. How are you this morning? I am fine. I was on for some time, but I didn't know how to <laughs> unmute me. How's that? <laughs> okay. Well, now you're you're muted. Now, can everybody see my screen? Yes. 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 Okay. All righty. Hi, Sandy. How you doing? Um. Uh, so here we are. So this is, um, I've done some research on the COVID, uh, re, um, on the, the stimulus plan, on the small business information. More, this is going to uh, uh, kind of tend more to the, the small businesses, uh, but there's some other issues with some of the other entities, the self-employed, the gig industries. And again, this information is changing on a regular basis. Uh, this, is, this, this is being recorded, so I will make sure everybody gets this recording and then that way you can do so according. What I'm gonna say to you is, and when I did the show, when we did our show last Friday, The Business Zone uh, with Gilbert, uh, Gilbert and I, um, some things have already changed this, since that time. So, so you wanna jump on this and like right away, cause there are gonna be a number of people that are, uh, that are doing this and not just our community, the entire country or in the state of California, is pretty much everybody in the state. So first thing, the agenda is uh, we got to no panicking and let's stop making bad decisions. Let's stop going to buy toilet paper and all that sort of stuff because you need to save your money and, and you need to be able to manage it in a way that it's going to extend over this time frame. So when we first, when it first came up it, to March, to 31st, it was able six now we're into may 1st that's two whole months and uh i know that can be quite challenging so we need to not panic we need to do our research and we need to look at the long game on this okay guys because and you need to do your research because there's so much information out there some good some not good some false some fake some is used to keep you in a place of heightened of fear and we can't make decisions when we are fearful am i right on that one Right. That's, that's correct. correct. That's correct. Okay. So um, we're going to also talk about the local, the, the, the SBA loans, the federal, the state, the local loan <coughs> program. There are a few grants out there. Uh, a lot of the companies, the big corporations are stepping up, which is awesome. And so you want to be able to tap into that. Uh, during this time, I would suggest everyone uh, keep in contact with their customers. 
because you don't want to lose your customers, that you don't want them to think that you've gone out of business. Uh, right now, we are all in the same place, but I think if you communicate with them, if that's through your social media, so become very vigilant on your social media, not just with stuff you're passing out about the virus uh, and, and, and that kind of information, they're getting that. You want them to get the information about you and your business if you are in business because you can't afford to have to start all over again. This is, we just gonna call this an inter, uh, an inter a hiatus. How about that? Like when the, <laughs> when the industry goes on hiatus. So make sure you're reaching out to your customers. Give them a phone call, your, your, your favorite and your ones that pay you money on a regular. I would actually reach out to them by telephone or by your cell phone. I wouldn't just send just notices, but send out email, e-marketing. If you don't know how to do that, we, we can help you make that happen. But I say stay in touch with your customers and, and also your customers that don't know you exist. Uh, make sure you're uh, creating some um, marketing stuff that you can put on your Facebook page, your, your Instagram pages, your Twitter, what have you. This is not the time to be off of any, the social media. This is the time when everybody's sitting at home, they have nothing else to do, and they are your captive audience. <laughs> so yes, keep I them know. entertained, guys. <laughs> All right. So, um, and then the next thing we're going to talk about the documents you're going to need and the tools you're going to need in order to be able to apply and to qualify for some of the programs. And then above all, you're going to keep yourself and your family and everybody safe, but you're going to stay informed. Okay. So don't panic. This is, as I said, this is not the panic. Everything you read on social media is not gospel. Do your research, read, and then verify the resources and the sources. I uh, don't take everything at face value because I have seen some interesting stuff out there. I have received some interesting stuff in my messenger that it makes you just shake your head. So I don't operate on fear. I operate because God is my guidance and that's how I work. And so that's why I felt it was important. The Linda, the link is, um, it's, um, it's actually on Facebook. If you go to any of my Facebook pages, you will see a event and you can pull the link up from there. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't think I can, I can't upload it here. Okay. Next. Uh, this is not a one size fit all. So this is some of these programs are going to work for you and some of them are not going to work for you, but I do ask you to share it with other people or other business people that you know, um, so that everybody that, that we can make sure that we're all safe there. The programs will fit everybody's needs, but you will need documentation in order to verify it. So our small businesses aren't flush. Um, any kind of delay, they, they say to extend it, but most of us, how many of you actually have a six month contingency program? I do. Okay, good. So um, how many of you have that? If anything happens, I'm ready and I got a backup contingency plan. Right. So, so a lot of us don't, and that's not a problem. I think a lesson learned from this is we need to have some other ways to create multiple streams of income. Would I, would everybody agree with me? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So we can't have it just where it's just completely reliant on one source of income. So we need to work on that. Okay. So everybody knows that the federal income tax has been extended into July 15th of 2020 yes. that gives you some yes. time uh, that gives you a little bit of time in order to get you together for your taxes. Um, I don't know if you, because before the, the shut-in or the call for the quarantine and the shut-in, uh, the 15th of March was the time when corporations were supposed to extend theirs. So this definitely, if you didn't do that, this is uh, definitely uh, a blessing for you. So we got to look at the silver linings as well. So first thing is the SBA has a economic uh, in, in injury disaster loan program. So we're going to talk about that. I already just talked about the extension. The city of Los Angeles also has an emergency microloan program and there are lenders and corporate and small business assistant programs that are out there. 
And then uh, I'm going to talk about finally what are some of the free and low cost accounting systems and programs where you can track your expenses and your income so that you can, pro you can provide the, um, the P&Ls and the statements that they're gonna need. So the SBA loan is uh, emergency and this is set up just, this, this particular loan is specifically for COVID-19. There are other loans that the SBA has and that you can apply for as well, but this one is specifically for disaster injury loans. So they're low, uh, they're gonna provide low interest loans to help you businesses, renters, homeowners recover from this declared disaster. Um, <laughs> If you need cash to offset lost revenue, uh, this will be able to help you do that. So those loans are going to have uh, low interest rates for small businesses. They're three point uh, three and three quarters percent. And if you are not, that's for a small business. And if you're a nonprofit, they're going to be two point seven five percent. Now, with a nonprofit, though, you want to be a little bit careful because. You know, your, your, your reserves are sometimes quite low anyway, so you might do better writing for some grants. Um, and then there's some other things I'm going to talk about that might work best for you as a nonprofit. For the SBA loan, um, eligibility is for all businesses in the United States. You all know that there was a $2.2 trillion uh, uh, stimulus uh, plan put a put in place. And with that is, um, I think, 350 or $360,000 million dollars allocated for small businesses. So, that, so that's all businesses. You can use the loan to cover accounts payable, debts, payroll, and any other business bills that the COVID-19 has actually affected uh, your ability to pay. So that's for rent, that's for utility bills, anything that to keep your business solvent until you actually can get your customers back in the door. You will be able to apply for these loans at the sba.gov and, uh, and then there you'll go and you'll and select um, economic injury. Now, again, this is this loan. There are multiple loans that are available for you depending on your specific business and your specific information, okay? So if this loan is not enough for you um, and it doesn't, you don't get what you need, then I would say apply at some, uh, for some others at this present point in time because it's all about after this is over, you can go back to business, um, in that you should, you know, make sure you're strategizing your marketing plan uh, so that you'll know how you can actually reach the people because it's going to take a little minute to get back in, 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 in the running. And with that, though, you're going to have to have some funds to be able to do your ads and so things like that. This is not the time where we're going to be skipping on our marketing because this is the only way you're going to get people back to you in order to spend money. Are we in agreement? Okay. Crystal, Crystal, yeah. do, you, do you know if the state of California has any loan programs? Uh, the state of California is coming through the SBA. Okay. All right. And, but the city of Los Angeles has something. So we're going to talk about that. So the documents that you're supporting documents that you're going to need is the um, uh, your most recent tax return. So that would be 2018. Uh, you're going to need a personal investment. You're going to need business financial statements, which are P, uh, profit and loss statements and balance sheets. And they're asking for a schedule of uh, liabilities, which should be on your balance sheet, but I think they want a listing of your liabilities and some details and a list of all your current debts. Know this, they're not making you whole for anything that took place prior to COVID-19. So just know that. Okay, um, so the information uh, in order to reach them is right there. It's the SBA Disaster Assistance Com Customer Service. And for those of you that are on my Facebook uh, 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 Live, uh, the phone number is 800-659-2955. Also know 
that the lines are probably incredibly busy. So maybe early morning, late afternoon, you're going to have to gauge that. Don't get impatient. Just know that there are 326 million, 28 million people in the state of California. Uh, this is affecting all of them. And then the SBA is federally. So there are actually 10 million people in the country. So you already know what that looks like, right? So just know that. Um, next is the, and I have to move this for a minute. This, uh, whew, go back. So this is the state and local coronavirus uh, business assistance. And this is the city of Los Angeles. This is sm uh, their small business emergency micro loan fund program. The business and micro uh, enterprises in LA are responsible for any low income jobs. I'm, I'm sorry, providing low income jobs. And so they're providing micro loans of 5,000 to 20,000. So this is really specific for working capital and also job retention, okay? They wanna make sure that you can pay your employees during this time. And um, especially if any of them are, um, I just lost my feed on, on oh shoot. Um, sorry, guys, I just lost my feed on, on Facebook Live. Okay, so here's the terms. Uh, the first option is 0% uh, percent for terms of six months to one year. So that's really just basically giving you enough opportunity to get back on your feet, feeling, assuming, assuming that six months being, uh, would give you that time to do so. Or if you need more, then, of course, uh, you have up to a year. The next option is 3% to 5% for a term of up to five years. So, of course, these are, um, I'm not quite sure I would take you five years to pay back $20,000, but maybe it will. Uh, but your interest rate is going to be 3 to 5%. There's going to be no fees and no admin administration fees in order to uh, process these loans. The eligible borrowers are uh, either in the city of Los Angeles either low income business owners and businesses and that this will retain jobs, okay? So this is one that's really important if you have employees and if, if and or you are a low income, uh, which kind of uh, certain businesses already fall into this just because they're being affected by the Metro Lane. Metro Lane. Chris, yes. Crystal, so again, this is not something that a nonprofit should be looking at then, is that correct? No. Uh, no, non for, for the, uh, nonprofits as well, provided that you're in a position in order to apply for loans, you know, okay. based upon your budgets, okay? But there are some grants out there that I would advise for. I would advise for nonprofits, unless you're a large nonprofit, to go for any grants, grants. that you can find yeah. and some other things that we're going to talk about at the, uh, toward the end of this presentation okay. uh, before you go for loans, because loans is an expense. Yes. Okay, and we don't get uh, nonprofits don't get their money the way for profits do. Right. Okay, so you want to think about that. Mm -hmm. So um, next is so the loans. Um, so here's how you're eligible for the state of California. Reasonable, they, they reasonable and responsible individual credit history. I don't know what that means. So that's probably going to be a conversation that you're going to have to have with them. Uh, because if you're in certain areas, then you already have some challenges with your credit history. So that's going to be an individual conversation that you guys are going to have to have, okay? Uh, business has to be located in the city of Los Angeles. I checked for some for the Inglewood, and at the present moment, they, you know, any, Inglewood has not put anything in place. I would suggest if you live in different cities, Long Beach, they're, probably, they're very proactive. Culver City is very proactive for business. I would say check your, uh, the city that you live in, check the websites and see what they have, okay? But this one is just specifically for the city of Los Angeles. Uh, another eligibility is you own 20% or more of your business. You must guarantee the loan. 
businesses must have a business tax registration certificate with the city of Los Angeles, meaning you need to have a business license with the city of Los Angeles, and that has to be filed prior to March 1st, 2020. So that means you just can't run out and do that right now. Um, it's for working capital to apply. You can go to the city of Los Angeles Small Business Emergency Micro, micro Loan, and uh, the website is right there. And you can also, and, and that will give you all the information. It's really detailed and really queer, uh, clear. And there's some um, uh, 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 FAQs, uh, frequently asked question sections, so you can add that might address some of your issues. Okay. Next, the documents. A little bit more documents needed here than for the SBA loan. So they want your most recent. A return one year so that could be last year unless you've already filed your 2019 then you can do use your 2019 but if you have not filed your 2019 then use your 2018 that you need a personal financial statement you need a business financial statements again the PNL and the balance sheet you need your returns for your personal returns your a personal tax returns one year and bank statements three months and source and use of funds, okay? And the information for how you reach them is right there, is the EWDD Emergency Micro Loan Management Team at the emergency loan at the city of Los Angeles.org, or you can call them at 213-744-1730. So for those of you that are watching on uh, Facebook Live, uh, that is the EWDD Emergency Micro Loan Management Team, and it's uh, the email is emergency loans at lacity.org, and the phone number is 213-744-7130. Okay, now this one gets a little interesting. There are some other loans out there. So um, Facebook has some interesting loans available and they are committed to offering thirty thousand uh, dollar they they actually are committing to a hundred million dollars and that is going to be offering up to thirty thousand dollars for small businesses both in cash grants so margo this is great for grants uh for small for nonprofits. uh both they're going to offer money both in cash grants and facebook advertising credits so you want to look into Facebook and you can go to Facebook, put COVID-19 and their grants. And I have a link right there that you can look into that. This is eligibility for all businesses in the U.S. and 30 countries where uh, Facebook is operating. I think it's almost like 30 businesses. So this one is a when you when you get off of this, this webcast or this web, y'all need to jump on that one like ASAP. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is not wait till next week <laughs> this is jump on this right now <laughs> um, Mel, Melba is already gone <laughs> Melba is yeah gone and left everything no I'm in <laughs> yeah. uh, so uh, the use of the loan is to keep your workforce going strong, help with rent costs, connect with more customers, and hey, Cassandra, and hey. cover operational costs. Again, it's for your business. So you can go to Facebook. You can, you can actually copy and paste that link right there um, when I send you, when you get the recording, or just it's facebook.com business slash boost grants. And, or just Google it. Google Facebook and Covey Grants, and then it'll pop up, it will populate for you, okay? So that's a pretty cool one. Uh, so here's uh, other, small business, other small business assistance programs. So these are some free tools and resources uh, that uh, financial resources for your small business. So um, Telcom, the giant Verizon, is donating $42.5 million to nonprofit local initiative support corporations, grants up to $10,000 <coughs> to struggling businesses. So I think the way this one is working out is if you have a program, a local initiative, so RBD is definitely applying for this, in that you're providing programming 
to help biz, struggling businesses during this time, then they will grant you up to $10,000 in order to be able to uh, uh, have those events uh, to help those individuals. So I'm applying for that today. That's what I'm doing today. Um, uh, for those local restaurants and bars, Yelp is providing $25 million in a form of waived advertising fees, free advertising, uh, products and services. I would look into this a little deeper because Yelp actually advertises every business out there. So maybe like for real estate, um, you might, if you were in the real estate industry, they may be able to uh, really uh, help you with some advertising because again, even though it's not a restaurant and a bar, uh, the, the real estate industry and other industries that work <coughs> as self-employed and they're not, and if you're not, um, if you're not a corporation, uh, then you're not really paying into and not paying your estimated taxes every year. You're not paying into the system. Uh, so therefore, unemployment is really not available to you. So you want to look into that kind of stuff. Um, and, and you're going to have the guys going to have to be creative here because some of this does not fit us as entrepreneurs, uh, the way we do business. Anybody in the gig industry, you really going to have to get creative because Unless you've paid into the system, you're going to have to find some other ways in order to find um, how you get the the information. Now, the stimulus plan. Crystal, can I say something? Yes. Uh, we got a letter today from NAR saying that um, our realtors and small uh, independent workers are able are going to be able to apply for unemployment. Oh, fantastic. Yes. Well, I've been hearing that awesome. too. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so again, things are happening like as we speak things are happening <laughs> so you want to do your research to find out what those things are so that's fantastic and, and thank you cheryl i will pass that on um uh so uh, and, and at one point there was a mandate there was something that populated last week because i talked about it on the show about providing 511 dollars. i think it totaled like five five thousand dollars per month for those that were in the gig industry. I ha I don't know if the stimulus $1,200 one time, one off is supposed to supersede that, but uh, I hadn't been, I couldn't find it last night. So I'm gonna have to do some more deep diving to find out what exactly, I think is in lieu of, and in that case of, if, that ca if that's the case, um, um, I'll have to find out where you where that link is. Uh, and I did talk about that on the show, and I think I, I, I have to go back and find my notes on the show. Okay, so um, next is the GoFundMe. Anybody ever ever heard of GoFundMe or have actually <laughs> tried to do crowdfunding? Um, okay. Yes. I've heard of it, never tried it. <laughs> so GoFundMe actually has set up a small business release fund. And they're going to be providing small businesses with grants and resources. They're donating um, up to $500,000 for that. Uh, so I would go to GoFundMe.com slash F, Small Business Relief Fund, and see how that will benefit you. And also, for those of you that know how to do a crowdfund, um, and we can talk about that off this offline, uh, they will match any of uh, um, GoFundMe, GoFundMe will match. If you raise $500, they will match that for qualifying businesses. So if you raise that much, then they will double that. Okay. So GoFundMe is a resource, especially for paying rent and bills, unless they waive rent. Although I have heard that, and I would verify this with our, your individual uh, renty, uh, whoever you're renting from, that they put a hole on the mortgages. And I think my sister, who's in real estate as well, said that they, you cannot pay your mortgage for up to three months, but day 90, what, 91, they want all of it. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> just know that. Um, then this one is for those that are in the food and beverage industry, the uh, James Beard Foundation has provided, uh, they're offering micro loans for restaurants, bars, and other independent businesses that are in the industry, meaning that you might have an auxiliary business that is in the food and beverage industry. So you would want to go there to get the details 
on how and if you will qualify for any of those loans. Next is student loans. Gilbert, this is specifically for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> student loans have been suspended for 60 days, but you do need to contact your server of your of federally funded loans, um, and you can do that through the Department of Education. Uh, they have all the contact numbers for all of the entities that hold your loans, and once you do that, um, for government health loans, you find your lender, contact them, not me, contact them, and <laughs> ask for administrative forbearance, okay? That's important. Don't just assume that they're going to do this on their own. You have to contact them. And then, excuse the typo there, this was late last night, uh, privately held student loans, you can request a forbearance to temporary postpone or reduce your payments. All right. Thank you for that, co-host. I yeah, appreciate so, that. Because I know a lot of folks still have loans. Gilbert was in school like hundreds of years ago, and he's still paying <laughs> his loans, man. <laughs> they, they, they jacked me, man. They were the mafia. That's what they did. <laughs> <laughs> so he still has loans that he got to deal with. The employee. This one is employee. So we all know that um, I don't really have anything in place, but as of this morning, 1 million entities actually applied for unemployment. They're waiving the waiting period. I don't think it matters if you're full-time, part-time. I think they're even, I think it's a, based upon the stimulus pro program that I read about, they are even, if it's, they're given $600, whether you make that or not, whatever that is, then uh, I think the base is $600 per week. And I think I heard um, Senator Schumer say, even if you don't make that m amount of money per week, it doesn't matter. It's a flat rate, $600 a, uh, a week. So, but you need to get in and you need to be patient because I, there's over three, if there's 1 million people that are applied, we still got you know 10 million people in this country and maybe probably 85% of them are eligible for unemployment. So and that is what you need to do for those of you that have some part-time work going on, okay? Crystal, Next. is 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 that in, a, in addition to that $1,200 that they claim they're gonna send? Yes, yeah, so let me talk about the $1,200. Yes, that's in addition to $1,200. I think it's $1,200 for individuals, $24 for family, I think, and then children or $500 or something of that nature. But here's the caveat so far. If you apply, if you have filed your taxes, then, because they say not every American, that's not what the language is. The language is most Americans. So that's a very important most. <laughs> and so I'm uh, a, a, making a, 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 a calculation or, or, or an assumption that that means those who've paid their taxes. I don't know what that means if you owed any taxes. <laughs> so okay. hopefully, hopefully that little $1,200, which is not going to do you a whole lot of good, but I guess it's something. A little bit I, of something is better than nothing, right? I, I believe, Crystal, I believe once you file it. So even if you owe taxes and you file it, then you should be good. Because okay. then once it's filed, the IRS, they'll try to set up a payment plan with you. So once it's filed. Okay. So so excuse me. So, so Gilbert, are you saying if you owed and you are paying on it, that it's possible that they will? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You should be good for that. Okay. And I would go to the IRS website and I'd look on the QA or even email them mm -hmm. to ask that question. Okay. That, that could be, you know, you could be sitting there by the, wait, by the mailbox waiting for your $1,200 <laughs> and get quite surprised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, we kept your money. <laughs> and then everybody pissed off and so save yourself that anguish. <laughs> but but Chris, Crystal told me I'm going to get $1,200. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> nothing in Washington. <laughs> nothing at the IRS. <laughs> so, but I would say, for your own sake, remember at the very beginning, I said, do your research. 
<laughs> right. Thank you. And ask your question because I don't want you sitting by the mailbox waiting for your twelve hundred dollars or or if it's electric electrically uh, um electronically coming to your bank account. I want y'all be all disappointed to add that to your stress level. Then you'll be susceptible for COVID nineteen. <laughs> it's a snowball, man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Do your research. <laughs> a little relief. It, it, laughter helps, right? Yeah. yeah. So, um, but I am, I, and I'm going to do more research and I'll probably put it on Facebook, on my Facebook. But I, uh, I do have a concern about those that n don't belong to NARS or some association. And I'm real concerned about those that work in the gig industry because the gig industry is an interesting in industry when when they say that unemployment is down in the united states that's because three million people realized that they weren't getting paid or they couldn't continue to be they didn't have money left in for unemployment and they just got tired of it and they went and found other means to make money uh but however that that type of business is not kind that you're putting money away, you're really just living off of the money, right? But you're no longer part of the individuals that are actively looking for work. So you are completely in the gig industry and your money is coming as you are delivering uh, or as you're picking up, like as such as Uber and Lyft. And I know they have over a million drivers. So um, that, that, that makes a big difference. And here's the thing. Uh, every one of us that are in business, we are all affected by everybody that's out of work because that's mm -hmm. where our money comes from, right? Those are our customers in some uh, aspect or another. And so, you know, you know, those of us that are self-employed and, 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 and coaches and however we do our business, we are greatly affected if we need people in order to purchase and, and, to, and to buy our products or our services. So it, 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 it's a domino effect for everybody in America. If one group is hurting, all of the rest of us are hurting as well. Well, uh, Crystal, um, uh, you notice that the relief that they talk about, they talk about employees, they talk about companies with employees, and they talk about the gigging industry, but they never talk about a sole proprietor who does not have employees. So we need to find out about that too, because I don't hear any provisions being made for a sole proprietor with no employees. Uh, neither have I, ex except for, for the um, $1,200 and the microloans that the city of Los Angeles is doing. But again, if you're in the gig industry, I mean, if you're in different cities outside of Los Angeles, you need to really check with your cities to see. I checked with somebody this morning. Inglewood is not doing anything. Uh, in fact, they're, they're pretty upset with Inglewood because they're not even waving parking tickets. So um, <laughs> from what I hear from, from some residents, they are quite upset with Mayor Butts because they are still getting tickets and everybody's at home. And, you know, Inglewood has a lot of parking restrictions. So, yep. <laughs> so they're not happy. Hey, Linda, happy birthday. Thank you. Crystal, I had a question. I couldn't figure out how to unmute this. Okay. Um, like, it's, it's a piggyback to Gilbert's question. Like I'm the CEO of my company and I'm my employee. I run my um, payroll through payroll. Okay. So then you can apply for work? unemployment. You can apply for unemployment. Even if I still pay myself? Yeah, but you're paying into the system, right? Yes. Yeah. So then as long as there's money in the, uh, in, in the, in the coffers for you. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, as long as you're paying, if you are an employee of your company and you're actually running yourself through payroll, which is was a wise decision, Linda, then <laughs> my accountant then you told me actually, to do that. Yeah, well, one, it, yeah, it puts you in the system because of things like this, right? Because if not, mm -hmm. you have no income coming in. Oh, okay. Can I ask? Can okay, I ask one? So, can, can I ask one quick additional question, Crystal? Sorry to belabor this. No, 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 no problem. So, Linda, um, are you sure that they're taking out unemployment insurance out of your payroll tax? Because that's where the unemployment comes from. If you're paying into the unemployment insurance fund as an employee. So you might want to check with your accountant or bookkeeper for that. 
Oh, okay. Well, I can look on my paycheck stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Her, yeah. yeah if, so, so in anybody that's getting a paycheck stuck, if you see the word UI, yeah. that is your unemployment. Uh, right. Also, on that same Actually, note. Wait, I don't know that it says UI because unemployment is actually paid by your employer. Uh, they pay us, this is Willa, and they pay uh -huh. a special um, rate to the state of California. Your short term disability is on your paycheck. You will okay. see SDI, but you won't see UI on your check because unemployment is paid by your employer. But that is good, Gilbert, that you were telling her to look at her check because if your accountant is taking out, you can self cover yourself for unemployment insurance if you are um, a single entrepreneur. And, yeah. and actually, okay. your $800 that you pay for your corporates, that should be some of that in there, or if you're paying your, into your quarterly taxes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You, you need to check with who your, your accountant yeah. your um, to see how they set that up. So okay. I have a question, a quick question. Yes. Uh -huh. So again, um, nonprofit, you know, everything that I say will be coming from the nonprofit, nonprofit perspective. Um, and all, everybody is a 1099. You know, I'm brand new with all of this, and I haven't set myself up as an employee, even though I'm the CEO and the owner. Should I have done that, or should I do that? This is my first year um, filing. Um, um, because uh, I've, I've only well, actually, uh, so here's the thing with um, State of California, and I think they put it put a suspension on it for right now. But AB five was what uh, they were using. Mm -hmm to uh, determine whether or not you are a 1099 or you are a uh, in, uh, independent contractor. So it, it, it took uh, the qualifications used to be 20 questions. Now it reduced them down to three. And if you are in the same business that the business that you're doing, uh, that you're working for, then they consider you an employee. And at that point, uh, everybody that doesn't fit the, the real definition of what the state of California has defined as a self-employed 1099 employee really needs to be an employee. Uh, I know there's, uh, that's up in the air now because of coronavirus, but um, as a ten, and that's the issue with the 1099s is that you can't apply for unemployment. But I think there, the stimulus, the twelve hundred dollars, is going to apply to you. Okay. 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 But, so, where but, can I go to find this AB five? Uh, oh, the State of California online. Business Portal. Yeah. Okay. It's a big thing right yeah. now. And even Google it. It's, and you can Google there. it. You'll get a whole bunch of stuff. I think I did read that it was um, suspended for the time being. Uh, because of the coronavirus, but they, they, they're they still reviewing. And obviously, Willa, you may have some information on that. Because you, you're with EDD, or where are you? What are you? I'm, <laughs> I'm, currently, <laughs> I'm currently with AFLEC, the supplemental insurance. So okay. I'm an independent contractor now, but I okay. did have almost 35 years with EDD, the Employment Development Department. So that's kind of well, I know a little bit about unemployment insurance and disability and all those pieces that EDD handles. Yeah. Okay. All right. So there you guys, you have it. Yeah. Uh, Kim on my uh, Facebook live said, yeah, she got two parking tickets in her household. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously Sorry, they're not Kim. playing. <laughs> Sorry, I <would> Kim. Say, <laughs> I would say, y'all gonna have to send a whole bunch of emails to the mayor. <laughs> you can't go see him, but you can send some emails. Uh, Chris, oh, don't be, before we go too much further, I, uh, back on the this SBA loans, I had to put a question in chat. I don't know if you're looking at it, but my question about the SBA loans are kind of some time frames for when you would expect to receive the funds. What's what's the time uh, frames look like for applying for an SBA loan and and when it's actually paid out if you're eligible? Do you I, have any idea uh, for for the co for the co yeah uh, for the covert because I mean you COVID. need them you know I know that you know I know government and it takes a while sometimes it could take three or four months before you actually get a regular SBA loan so that's I'm a good point to speed these up because of the immediate need for the for the financial support well I think what they're doing is is fast tracking this 
So oh. if you have all the documentation, I think uh -huh. it's based upon a signature and then they'll send a check out or probably electronic. They're probably going to do electronic because nobody's in the office. And so from what I'm hearing, you know, they'll do an ACH for you. Mm -hmm. And so I hear that it's going to be a quick turnaround. That's what okay. I read. Um, okay. And hopefully don't get bogged down in other, but yeah. that means you got to come correct with, come with all of your documents so that they don't have to keep going back and forth and that will delay the process. And so, uh, and that was really the reason for this, because again, I don't want and thank you, Kane. I don't want us to, to not be eligible because we don't have what we're supposed to have. So uh, for those of you that have an accounting system, fantastic. For those of you who don't, it's not the end of the world. Um, we can do some stuff pretty quickly. Uh, so what I did was I compiled a number of, of programs that are out there that, that will help you uh, track your income, your assets, your liabilities, and your expenses. Um, and so um, I have been teaching QuickBooks and working with QuickBooks for over 30 something years. And I know it inside and out is perfect for small, medium, mm -hmm. in, in any business. And it's uh, recognized, highly recognized by the accounting industry, your CPA, um, most bookkeepers, this is the product that they're using. Uh, pricing starts at $10 per month. And, and that's a simplistic. It just depends on, again, like I said, in the early part of this, this is not a one size fit all deal. Uh, any of this stuff is. So the $10 is a pretty basic program, a debt basic plan, uh, but it will do what you need to do in order to get a P&L out there. Okay. Uh, the next one is Zoho. Uh, they are a simple online business. Uh, they sync with your bank account. So does QuickBooks. And that's why it makes it so quick for this. You can make this <coughs> where you can actually connect it to your bank account and voila everything is uploaded and now we just have to put them in the right categories uh set up your chart of account and you got a set of books that's how simple it is and zoho when i did some research they are waiving i think for three to four months all of their fees so for mm -hmm. all of their programs if anybody is using zoho that's what they're doing that's their give back the other program is uh, Zero, and this is best the best uh, software for Mac users. Um, so here's what Mac with all of these programs, they're kind of a slim down. They they adapt it to Mac, but Zero actually is made for both PC users and Mac, but the platforms accommodate the iOS as well as the Windows system. Uh, and if anybody's in the cannabis industry. Uh, Zero is a perfect product for you because it will track what you need to track. And because cannabis is not federally, uh, federally approved as of yet, none of the other softwares out there uh, will accept that as a business. But because Zero is a business that was created in Denver, Colorado, uh, they, they, they are good to go. Okay. And then this new little guy I found out, and I actually just trained somebody on this last week, is Wave. And it's a great, it's great software for micro businesses and freelancers. And the best thing about it, it is completely, totally free. Mm, that's good. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> Chris, Crystal, uh, can I add something? Uh-huh. So there is another software out there. It's called Bookkeeper. And that one is for $39.95, one-time only purchase. So you don't have to pay monthly or anything like that. And it's just like QuickBooks. It does everything like QuickBooks, but, well, most things like QuickBooks. <laughs> and Crystal, Crystal is familiar with this software as well. Uh, you guys can check it out too as well. You know, it's just another option. Right, another option. Only thing is, with that option, you can't use it on a Mac. It, it's not acceptable. It, and yeah. you have to have a computer that accepts, um, I think it's disk. It's disk. So you got to have a computer that has a CD. CD oh, now, now, now they allow you to download the, the link. Yeah. Oh, okay. So there now you they, have it. Yeah, they do the link now. Okay, so, so those are the programs. If you don't have anything that you can get, uh, you can actually get. But the zero, like I said, I trained somebody last week and 
uh, she was able to put in her income and her invoices and I'm meeting, I'm, uh, um, doing a consult with her this afternoon in order to upload her bank, her information from the bank. They'll go 18 months uh, and upload any transactions that took place in your bank account for 18 months. So that would be all of last year. And then we just have to get it in the right chart of accounts. So, and it's quite easy and simple to use. As I said, I trained her in two hours for her to get her income in and her um, product in and we set up the chart of accounts and so today we're going to finish up so that's a total of about four hours that we have done work uh, and, and to get her ready so um this is going to be our q a period uh but let me go back here so if you guys are not familiar with your quickbooks i i'm going to have a special where I will help you or any of your software, I will help you get it set up uh, for $49 um, in order to get you ready and go and get your first P&L set up so that you can um, get going. Okay. That's just this initial part. Any other account, uh, any other bookkeeping, there'll be other, that's my other price, but this is my special right here for this particular conversation. That's so a very, is, that's a very good price, Crystal. Very good price. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. 49. I want everybody to, you know, it just, I just need you to get that P and L uh, and um, there's also, if you're interested, you can email me. I can get you over a template an Excel a template to do your personal uh, financial statement and I can send that over to you. Um, so if this is something that you guys, if you, if you see this and anybody just refer them over, I'm going to send you guys the, um, uh, so Kane uh, is a uh, nickel Nicholas. He's going, he's breaking down the SBA app tonight. So you're going to give me some information Kane, and then I can, so um, if you have an interest, you know, you, you need some help on anything. Also, let's refer this over to people that have small businesses that weren't able to be on this call uh, because we want to make sure everybody is helped. We, we don't want you just to miss out on this. $1,200 is not going to take you far. It's going to probably pay one, two deals. Uh, half a rent. <laughs> half rent, right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that's just the re realistic thing. Um, or buy you some food for the family and, and whatever else you need during this next two months. But I, we got time. Uh, let's do it and let's not get left out. That's all I'm going to say. Um, uh, uh, Crystal, um, are, you still, are you still going? Or? Uh, no, no, no. So now Gilbert is going to share what he has. Okay, thank you, Crystal. You're now, now some of you guys may know me as uh, being Crystal's sidekick on the business zone. <laughs> now, now we know. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, there we are, and, right there in the corner. And, and and some of you may have taken uh, my classes, so. I just want to point this out to you. It's very important. I took, I took a, a little picture earlier when Crystal was listing the things that the SBA and the city might need. One of the key things they need is a personal financial statement. Now, many of you, I'm going to assume, I'm just going to assume based on history that many of you may know what it is, but you may not know to what depth they need that information from you. So, I, I think we need to do a little clinic crystal on how to complete that personal financial statement because it's a four page document because pretty much what they're going to need, they're going to need you to fill out the SBA uh, personal financial statement. If you, if you go online right now, you go to Google and you type personal financial statement, you're going to get the SBA's form and you're going to look at it and you're going to go, what the hell is this? What do I need to do here? There's a whole lot of stuff they're going to ask you on it. And because I do this stuff every day, I want to guide you guys so that you guys don't make any errors. Because just like Crystal said, she said, if you guys are ready, you have all your documents in place, it makes it much easier for you guys to get your loan. So that's what we want to do. We want to make sure that you guys have everything in place. So there is a checklist in terms of financials. Okay? So I want to... Crystal, I don't know if I'm going to do this right, so maybe you can <laughs> guide me on this. So I'm going to bring up some financial information. Can you guys see the screen? 
Yeah, I see you. I, you got a share. Did you use the share button down at the bottom? Oh. Okay, let me go back to oh, share. Wait a minute. I have to unshare. Let me. I have to unshare. Hold on. Okay. We see you, but we don't see the screen. Oh, yeah. okay. So Crystal's right. going to help me on that. Yeah. Um. You need to. Yeah, I've uh, stopped sharing. So now you need to go to the green button and share. Okay. And then you pull up your whatever your screen is. Now, can okay. you see it? Can you guys see this? We, we yeah. you coming. It's coming. There yeah. you go. <laughs> okay. All right. So I have a system called Small Biz Pro. Okay. And Small Biz Pro is a back office system that helps you guys to set up your back office to make sure all your paperwork is in order. So when you go to the man asking the man for money, <laughs> then you guys have all the necessary paperwork you have. And the system is designed to organize your paperwork for you so that everything you need is there. Now, when you go to smallbizpro.net, on the home page, there are three assessment uh, buttons on there, three, three orange buttons that helps you to assess your business to make sure your business is actually ready. So the first one is called uh, contract readiness assessment. The next one is business readiness. And the third one is bank loan readiness. So when you guys get a chance, when you get off this, this uh, presentation today, I'd like you to go to smallbizpro.net. And when you go to that page, you go, you scroll down to the middle of the page and go to bank loan readiness. There is an assessment tool there and this is it. This is it right here that I'm looking at. So the first thing it's gonna ask you is uh, your company name, your name, uh, your email, your phone number. It's gonna ask you the legal structure that you have for your business. And then you're gonna enter your industry, what it is. Now down here where it says organization, you don't need to worry about that. You can skip that. Then it's gonna ask you these questions. Do you have a fictitious business name? If you're a corporation, do you have articles of incorporation? And you know, it's gonna ask you a lot of these things. Your tax ID, do you have it? It's gonna ask you if you have a Dun & Bradstreet number. These are things that the lenders are gonna be requesting of you. So might as well you start checking it out right now and make sure you put, you're putting it in order. It's also gonna ask you about your financials, like you know, do you have the last three years uh, tax return? And if you don't, for this program, they may just ask you for last year's, which is 2018, because 19 is not due yet, but if you already did 19, that's great for you, okay? So 2018, you wanna make sure. Now, I mentioned this earlier that if you owe taxes, if you owe taxes for 2018 and you didn't pay it, as long as you file the taxes, then you're good because that documentation is now in the IRS's office. So that $1,200 that they're talking about sending you guys, they're gonna look at your, your last tax return to determine how much money you made. You see what I mean? So if, you file that 2018 taxes, and if the IRS set up a payment plan with you, or if they didn't set up a payment plan, as long as you, you have it in their office that it was filed, then you're good, okay? So keep that in mind. Now, your, 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 um, your business financials, and this is what Crystal had talked to you guys about. Business financials, there are three types of financial statements the business need to have. One of them is your balance sheet. One is your profit and loss statement, or P&L. And the third one is your statement of cash flow. Now, the balance sheet for sure I know they're gonna need, and the profit and loss. They wanna know, okay, how much money you generated, what was your expenses, and what was your profit? They wanna know that. That's what the profit and loss is all about. So those are things that Crystal is gonna guide you guys and help you guys with, okay? And all those software that she just talked to you about, those financial statements are generated in those, those three, those four platforms, okay? I don't know if you guys have a bookkeeper, if you have an accountant, but if you don't, you probably wanna start talking to Crystal because that's what she does. She does the forensics accounting, 
She gets down to the DNA of it. She tells you. <laughs> she lets you know what's going on. <laughs> okay. So, so you know, you guys want to have her help you out. So, so just go down here and answer yes or no on this. And at the end, down here, it's going to give you a score. It's going to tell you what your score is. So it will let you know if you score high or if you score low or you score just right. If you're low, then that's a good thing because now we can work with you to get your, 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 your number up real quickly. Because you may just missing a few documents. You may have the documents in your company, but you don't even know where it is. So once you go and find it and then you include it, then that might bring up your score. Okay? So this is pretty much what I wanted to talk to you guys about this and the personal financial statement. Because the personal financial is going to be really critical to you guys. Okay? So that's pretty much what I want to say on this. <laughs> okay, so excellent stuff, Gilbert. Um, I'm, I'm going to answer a few little questions for our last little few minutes here. Uh, Cheyenne wants to know if she um, part-time employees for small businesses will receive benefits. And from what I, my understanding uh, from the stimulus program, that it doesn't matter whether they're less than 50 or not, uh, because this is not, um, this is not a norm here, and you were actually uh, told to stop working. Yeah. And because of the social distance, it, it was more of a mandate. Uh, then, yes, everybody that has paid into or is in, in, in employee status, then you will receive your benefits. And from what I understand from, from Senator Schumer yesterday, uh, even if you're not making six hundred dollars a week, you're gonna get six hundred dollars a week. So yeah, there you have it. Oh, that's <laughs> good. A week? Uh, yeah, a week. Oh. That's good. It's better than okay. nothing. Okay. So yeah, so that's better than nothing. So um let's see, somebody else had a question. Uh thank you, Cheryl. You're gonna reach me. I put my email address in there and you can reach me offline and we can get some time set up. Uh, Willow, we answered your question already. The slides will be made available in PDF for everyone and as well as the recording once the recording actually um, uh, populates, it's in the cloud. So um, I'm, I will send it over to you. And if you want to share it with individuals, anyone else, that would be fantastic. Do you guys think that maybe I need to do an update maybe in a week or so? Yes. Okay. Definitely. Yeah, because there's so many changes that are happening daily. Yeah. Okay. Well, then I will uh, send out another uh, uh, e-blast and information with, with a new uh, Zoom date uh, for next week because you're absolutely right. By that time, uh, right now, the stimulus plan was just um, approved by everybody, but we don't know when that's rolling out because <laughs> we are dealing with the government. So we got to find out when that's going to roll out and maybe hopefully in that time frame, then um, thank you, Michelle, I will make sure uh, that you get a notice. Uh, and in that time frame, hopefully, and I'm going to be diligently looking for uh, information uh, for the gig industry, for those that are self-employed, uh, that don't fit any of the criteria for the nonprofits. And if you want any, and, and you can, when I send you the notification for the next uh, uh, webcast meeting, uh, let everybody else know, because I'm going to be looking and seeing what else is available for nonprofits. Because the one thing we want, if a nonprofit is out there helping entities uh, and in and, and, and the community, we need them to be able to still perform their duties because they're performing services for our community and we need them not to stop, right? Because they're already helping the less, the less, uh, the disadvantaged and we need them to be able to still do that. So I will look for those things. Anything else you guys uh, would like for me to research? I love researching, so. <laughs> Oh, we love you. God bless you. <laughs> yes, we appreciate you. We now, need for you to stay healthy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm doing, I'm doing my remedy that my grandmother told me to do years and years ago, and that was my hot lemon water every morning. My grandmother lived go. to be 103 with no ailments. Mm -hmm. 
they had to manufacture some ailments for her. But when she <laughs> died, she was, um, she was, she was, uh, and she died from uh, just old age. She just, it was just time. So I'm doing my hot lemon water. I do my echinacea and lemon. I do my oregano oil. I do all of that. I go out and I walk or exercise gardening uh, so that I can stay healthy. Yeah. And then I pray every morning. Crystal, can I, can I ask two quick questions? Uh, one, um, does everyone on this, this platform have a City of Los Angeles business license? Does everyone? Yes? No? Mm -hmm. I no? So. Mm -hmm. okay. I, as Linda's in Hawthorne, so I would say no for Linda. Okay. Uh, make sure you have your license. Make sure it's in good standing because, you know, you don't want to find out when you're submitting your application that, oh, uh, license expired or something like that. And the, the, the next thing is, um, do you guys feel like you're ready? Do you feel like you have all your documents in place? No. no. Okay. So I'm, I'm glad you guys said that because we, we're here to help you guys with that. So make sure that, first of all, make sure you take this assessment test because this is going to tell me what you have and what you don't have. And then based on that, we can start working quickly to get you guys what you need. Okay, so please let's let's do that. We don't want to get left out anymore. That money is there, and it's part part of the money is for us. We need our money, so let's apply ourselves quickly. Okay. And so, if everybody will send me over their email address, I think some of you registered, some of you didn't. I some so if you didn't register through uh, Zoom, then if you would send me over your email address, so I can make sure I get the information to you. I want to thank you guys. I want you to be safe. And wow, I got to put on makeup today, so that was really <laughs> <wonderful. laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know this was that kind of uh, situation. <laughs> but that was, that was for me as the, the presenter. I thought I should put a little makeup on. And since I'm not, since Gilbert and I, the studio is closed. This is, what is, this is what the business zone today, guys. <laughs> I, I, I noticed well, Cheyenne, I I noticed like. Cheyenne been moving around there, getting all dressed up, changing clothing a lot. <laughs> well, I'm glad I put clothes on. <laughs> And Darvell, he actually got up off the bed. <laughs> oh, this is funny. So, guys, thank you so much. Thank and um, next week also, I'm going to include, I'm going to do some more research on other organizations because there are other organizations that can do some creative financing for you as well. Uh, this gives you time to think about what it is your need, what your needs are. Okay, because sometimes we just don't even know what does that look like? If I'm going to ask for money, what am I asking for? So, so <laughs> this is, will give you time to think about that. And if you have any questions, uh, you can call myself or Gilbert. My phone number is 323-447-7272. My email address is cmitchell544 at gmail.com. You can text me. Text me. Texting is really great that you want me to return your phone call because I, I have calls and, and Zoom meetings going on periodically throughout the day. And then um, also, uh, so let me ask this question and then we're going to wrap this up. How many of you, I think I said it just minutes ago, how many realize that you need to create some multiple, some other streams of income? Here. Of course. Of course. Okay. So um, I'm going to do a, a webcast, um, maybe not next week, but, you know, a little bit. Let's talk about what that looks like, because we really, truly got to add some other income yes. to your repertoire right now. If nothing else, um, uh, COVID-19 has done for us is to realize that we can't be reliant on one source. Right. Thank you. And so that other source has to come from the big wide web of the internet. Just imagine all 10 million people in the entire world are on the internet right now. You guys have probably been showing, seeing that your, your stability, your internet is all shaky and all crazy. That's because all of us are on it. So right. just think of that 10 million people that you can sell pr your product to or something that you're doing out there and and how will that tide everybody over yeah. and I always have money coming in while you sleep thank you <laughs> okay so you guys thank have you. a fantastic day thank you for taking time out uh for sorry we went over a little bit about 14 minutes and we're sorry and but i think the information 
uh, is valuable uh, for all of you. Michelle, my number is 323-447-7272. My email address is cmitchell544 at gmail.com. So you guys go out, be safe. And I'll see you next week. Darvell, look, you're in your car now. <laughs> Where are you going? You, are you social distancing? <laughs> Wait a minute, let me take you off. Are you're, you on, you're muted. There you go. Are you social distancing, guy? <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm going to eat. I'm going to get something to eat. Okay. <laughs> but, and, and it's a black-owned, it's a black-owned restaurant. So. All right, then, dude. All right. Cool, cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, hey, Crystal. Crystal. You're welcome. Can I Talk send a shout out? Oh, okay, it's Crystal. Yes. I want to send a let everyone know um, just to to take the minute for my Aflac, but Aflac is offering telemed um, free to new accounts that start with Aflac. Um, so if you know some small businesses that have three or more employees and they want to have the telemed available to all of their employees, if they start an Aflac account, um, that's going to be available, no cost to the business or the employee. Okay? Just oh, good to you know. Fantastic. Thank that's you. All right. Thank, thank you, guys. Good, and if any of you guys have information that you want me to include next week, then send it on over and I'll add it into the slides. All right. <laughs> All right. All righty. Bye. Take bye care, everyone. guys. Bye. 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 Bye.